For almost a decade on my TV show, Interview with Ed, I've been interviewing extra-dimensional beings and consciousnesses from a number of different realms. Many of my questions have been answered, but with every answer comes more questions. Join me on my ongoing quest to find out who are we, why are we here, and where are we going? Hello, Raw. Good to see you again and talk to you in this way. I was wondering if you could, if I could connect with you and if you could um, scan myself. For any negativity oh, here. That's very well. And finally, Raw, could you push down on the channel and remove her mind from this session? Oh, I mean. That's better. Excellent. So I wanted to start today talking about our friend Elon Musk. He's been in the news of late with uh, his Starlink satellites. And he's an interesting character. He's been helping humanity, it seems. But there's a lot of controversy. And some people say he's even from Mars. And I'm wondering what your thoughts on that might be. It's power that is within the embodiment of this mass. Musk. Elon Musk? The mass. Okay. This power is not dark. Okay. It is one uh, fullness in its authority. There is not a negative influence residing within this power. However, there are multiple influences surrounding this man that continuously attempting to render this power in a darker class. However, it is not possible. This will be in the positive nature, and there is no need to worry for this powerful boss will not turn negative. The rumors that he comes from Mars, is this, uh, uh, is this a soul, like his uh, soul group that maybe he comes from? Uh, it comes from the Mars energy. This is perhaps a misunderstanding on the boss. So the physical body has been generated within your planetary sphere. It right. has been born. The mechanisms by which thoughts are being produced within his mind are of a collective consciousness that resides in the Mars. Is this the Mars same civilization that destroyed itself many, many a long time ago? 
Oh, I have lots of this conceptual understanding. It is a collective consciousness that is established within this parameter in this phase in which you have called the Mars. And this consciousness is bringing forth knowledge that will increase the mechanical structures in your planetary sphere through the machinery. I see. And is it similar to how we say, let's say, you know, men are from Mars and women are from Venus? Is it this masculine energy from Mars? And then we have in the same right, we have a softer feminine energy coming from the Venus star or a planet? I guess what I'm asking is, is Mars more associated with a masculine energy? How not this understanding or moment? Okay. It's just the frequency that is from this particular collective, which is not the entire realm per se. It is a small collective that is more technologically advanced that is communicating with this individual, with a form of technology that will bring this newer civilization into an age of higher technology. The masculine and feminine is not necessarily intertwined with this concept. Huh? Okay, I see. Is, is Elon himself aware of this external collective energy that he's communicating with? I this is correct. He is aware. I this is correct. And is it just Elon or his family as well? Is it more a family lineage? Um, we have the knowledge to look at this moment. However, in the Planetary sphere, multiple have this connection that are not related by the lineage. I see. And I'll move on from Elon Musk, but is he, is he then working with sort of, um, forces, other forces beyond this Mars energy, for example, Galactic councils and these types of things that are helping humanity with its evolution now. Is there any interaction with him and these groups? One moment. The communication that is currently occurring is a more telepathic rendering where the information is in one direction. I see. It has not a dialogue from communication. It is a knowing that is quite profound, yeah. that is separate from the mind's communication. Therefore, it is known that it is not its own. Probably acts as a good smokescreen too. Other people are trying to peer into that. <laughs> it's 
this is uh, correct for the channel has been blocked from accessing his uh, energy. Not by the wall. Okay, we'll leave it at that then. That's it. And that means if the door's not opening, then we don't need to, uh, we don't need to push it. <laughs> it's not possible. Okay. Um, change, changing subjects here. Uh, the recent Hawaiian tragedy that happened, there's a lot of disclosures coming through. There's a lot of shenanigans from government entities and things, but there is, uh, a lot of seems to be evidence pointing that this was a orchestrated event from the Ross perspective. Does that seem so? Oh, this is correct. So then, the, yeah. oh, please go ahead. The other continue to provoke instability and distractions in order to manipulate the incarnates and to render them powerless. Is it having the opposite effect though? Is it uh, helping humanity wake up? This is a A question that has multiple answers. One is that those that are away in your terminology is sufficient. We have not the need for more. And therefore, it is accurate to say that more are becoming aware of the malfeasance from the others. However, what is occurring with this event is a Form of rogue group that are not in alignment with the agenda of the others. This was a more selfish act on the part of a group that seeks to benefit themselves and not really paying attention to a collective consciousness. I see. So, if I get this correct, there's within this sort of group that we call the others that have selfish tendencies and seem to not have the best in humanity, the best interests of humanity in mind. There's another group within that group that executed this event. This is correct. I see. And is this causing turmoil within the group, the others? This is difficult to understand, which is quite vast. From Ross' there perspective, is many layers. There is a layer that is seeking to change the collective consciousness of the planetary sphere in order to have the stronger negative fall. 
And then there are multiple layers that continue downwards into a form of hierarchy. The area of the hierarchy that is focused on the collective consciousness is not interested in what has occurred for which is not that important. However, several other layers have become upset and disheartened by this event for which is causing a stability. Yes. It is quite a messy in this moment within this hierarchy, and it is understandable for this too many variables and at this moment, they are interfighting with each other. I see. So what is the best thing that us humans as a collective can do to work through these energies, these times? Well, it's just always the same. It is to be of the light and the love continuously and to remain awake and to continue to push forth a positive vibration into the atmosphere. And uh, this is the most important. We can explain this for it is an important concept that must be understood when moment. And the individual of a higher vibration emanates a vibration that exits the body into space. And it has no end. It continues to vibrate into this viewpoint that you have of the infinity. And this vibration has the starting point within your physical body. And a positive vibration emanating will touch is not the correct word, however, it is closer. The energy of the and incarnate that is in your vicinity. Now, imagine that this is correct for all those that are on your planetary sphere. And you are all communicating with each other in a vibrational manner. And those that emanate a higher vibration because it is the dominant vibration, it illuminates the lower vibrations and it tries to match it, like the tuning far. Right, I see. And so therefore, the planetary sphere is currently experiencing a higher vibration that is being felt throughout. And it is important to just remain in the light and the love as much as possible. It's just not necessary for it to be all the time. But it is necessary for it to be more than half of the time. And if it is too low, there is the ability to raise it with the love, the joy, the gratitude, the laughter, the beauty. This will eliminate the lower vibration. Has this been understood? Yes. I'm glad we don't have to keep it up all the time because that's, that's very hard during these times. In addition to the Hawaiian hardships, 
the whole planet seems to be having going through hardships finance, with finances. There seems to be a continued upset of weather patterns. Some want to blame it all on controlled weather patterns, but some say it's natural. So either way, there's a lot of extreme weather and um, extreme... Um, we can speak on this matter. Yeah, yes. So uh, the weather. This the weather. weather is being manufactured. Okay. However, the incarnates of the higher vibration, which are those most likely hearing this communication, have the ability to override this weather manufacturing. It is within your ability during thoughts to emanate an override of this weather manufacturing and your ability to connect with the earth frequency and the sun frequency and the makings of the weather have the higher potential to dismantle the apparatuses that are manipulating the weather. It is important that you understand that your abilities are much stronger than you understand. Okay. You have the ability to override these uh, machines. Through our uh, intentions and, and will? And this is correct. Okay. It is it... very simple. Mm -hmm. It is not a complicated. It is only the ability to manifest itself. You can try with small, small, events where you request the rain, you request the sun, you request the wind, and you will see it will occur. And it is only for humanity to come to this realization and these weapons will no longer have any effects. I assume this is better to do in groups. No. We can do it in the every moment. Everyone is doing what is thought to be best. It's okay. Okay. It is very small number of incarnates needed to override the instruments. It is less than one thousand. Okay. Uh, so, so is this similar to the Maharishi effect where people gather and meditate and can change crime and change the change weather patterns in that sense? Mm. We have a lot of understanding of this word. Okay. Just the collective intention of a few, it could be a few hundred or, a, you know. This yeah. is correct. Mm -hmm. If the individuals who are emanating a vibration of purity in the atmospheric uh, structure, it is all that is needed to alter it. The frequencies of the earth are much stronger than any of these machines. Excellent. We can we do that work. And then for the manipulation, the financial systems and these types of things, how do people navigate these major changes? We do 
not understand the question. Uh, right now, with our financial systems across the globe, there seems to be a lot of big changes happening. And this co comes with getting loans and buying houses and just sort of everyday to life. Food prices going up with inflation. Understand or malware. I'm not gonna say very big conversation. We must explain we do not know if we can explain this entirety on one communication. Okay, we can pick oh, up this is a very large topic that has nothing to do with the financial system. <laughs> However, we can start the discussion and you can try to understand it as best you can and we can try to clarify. Okay. The incarnate has, in its perspective, a linear path forward. And it appears to the incarnate that there are one day, the next day, the next day. And the future days, from this perspective, are dependent on past days, as well as what is occurring in the moment, and so forth. And these future moments are understood by its environment. Has this right. been understood? Right, yeah, we're always... Okay. Uh, as us humans, we're always looking at our environment, what's happening and, and basing our actions on, on that. And this is correct. And yeah. the view of this incarnate's existence, per se, is the image by which they see around them. However, the incarnate does not need to live in this way. There's the ability to create a future moment. We have tried to send multiple visions or images of this to the channel over multiple times, and it's still very difficult to understand for it is going into a lot of physics that is not understood by the channel, so we have to try our best to communicate to this. Okay. I, I think I understand, and, and I can, we can talk with the channel after, but, uh, but perhaps if you have more clarity. Yes, one moment. The the moment that are in front of you from this linear perspective are dependent on where you are positioned in the moment. And where you are positioned in the moment is not the same for all incarnates. And it is not the same for you from one moment to the other. The best way to understand this is the Diana. And so you have these lines that are in the shape of the stairs, which is the accordion. Right. 
And where you are positioned on the accordion determines where you are, what is in front of you. There are parts on the accordion where there is a clear path with nothing in front of you. It is open and simple and easy and everything can appear very easily by your mind's ability to manifest it. Mm -hmm. And then there are positions on the accordion where it is dark and you cannot see in front of you and it is impossible to move from that position. Yes. And this is the explanation why there are incarnates who have the most extraordinary lives in your perspective. They wake up, they have an abundance of food, an abundance of love, an abundance of family, an abundance of purpose, an abundance of knowledge. And they go around their days. And you have some incarnates that are poor, sick, and dying for no reason. And then you have those that are tortured by their minds and their environments. And you are all habitating the same planetary sphere in the same time. The explanation is where you are on the accordion. And you can move from one position to the other with your mind. You can decide, I desire to be on a place of least resistance. The resistance is the obstacles, it is the hardships that are in front of you. Therefore, it is always important to know where you are on this accordion at all moments and it is easy to move to another point you have only to request it we know that this concept is not easy to understand and grasp for it is really something that you must understand in order to be able to experience it and yes. therefore we are very eager to have many of these conversations to explain this until you have understood it so deeply that you can move very freely on this accordion for it is only a concept of understanding it within yourself that you can move on this accordion. Having this knowledge and not understanding will not help you move on this accordion. I see. So you mentioned resistance and, and we can use resistance as a gauge to, to find our path perhaps. But what do you have to say about the idea of resistance creating a stronger being there's a saying we have if it doesn't break you it makes you know these types of ideas of, of hardships create a more a more powerful uh, spirit or a person and this is correct okay for a moment when an incarnate has the difficulty in the, the resistance. They can therefore understand it. If the incarnate has no resistance in anything, they are not existing. It has not to be so difficult. It has to be an understanding. 
Therefore, the resistance serves as a serves as a way for the incarnate to understand where they are. Resistance comes in many forms. It is not only it is not only a bad experience such as an accident in an automobile. It resistance is also in the form of challenges. When you have the inner desire to accomplish a task and you find yourself unable to resolve this, this as well is a resistance. It is all which is causing a sense of difficulty. Therefore, there are those that experience various forms of resistance. However, when there is a resistance, you have only to ask to be on a path of least resistance for that particular incident. If it is in your highest and greatest good, it will be moved and resolved. And, that and the answers engaged. will come to you. The, the path will clear. The abundance will come. The healing will find its way to you. Resistance is only the position on the accordion. I see, and and we can use resistance as as uh, as a guide to find that path of least resistance. So, if we're hitting barriers, we can sort of look for other options that might be a little more less <laughs> resistance. There is no need to look. Okay, it will come to you. Hmm. Therefore, let us explain. Mm -hmm. We are looking for an example that is relevant for a moment. We have one one. Can you have my thoughts and we will try to explain it? Okay, well, in a sense, a lot of people Going back to these natural disasters, a lot of people are, are so-called good people, people who have good intentions and good hearts are put into these positions of resistance of, of their homes getting burned or chemicals being released into the soil, all kinds of things happening around them. And that, in a sense, is a form of resistance. How can we use... Very well. You know, Let's, it's okay. It's okay what you have said. Try okay. a smaller resistance to start for these are bigger, bigger movements in your time space continuum. Let us move backwards one moment. Okay. Something smaller. The, future of your experience in your linear sense is how can we speak it? It is a form of layered image that has Imagine a road and you are walking down the street and you are thinking about something positive. As you're walking, the trees are appearing and the car is appearing and the house is appearing. 
it is a moving, it is an, it's a moving image. Correct. Have you yes. this visualization? Yes. Now you are thinking negative. Now you have a snake a crossing in front of you. You have a rain falling down on your head. You have a hole in the ground. It is the image creating what you are emanating. Yeah. It is moving and it is not the same for everyone. Everyone has their own experience. Therefore, when you have the positive thoughts, what occurs in front of you is more in the positive nature. However, if you are on the accordion, now imagine it having a down at the up. You are all the way in the down position. And you have decided that you will have the positive thoughts. And now you are having the positive vibrations. You are moving upwards on the accordion slowly. However, you can position yourself on a higher one immediately, but this is for a later communication. It is the events in front of you that are now more of the positive nature. And as you progress, more and more positive images and realities are appearing in front of you. It is you creating what is happening in front of you. Every time that you recognize that a positive event has occurred, for example, you're walking down the street, there is the snake, the hole, the rain, but you choose now, you say, ah, I see now where I am on the ecology. I understand. I am now going to try to find something more positive to vibrate. Gratitude, the joy, the laughter, the love. And now you have the sun that is emerging and you continue and now you have the birds are flying. It is a more beautiful experience. It is the desire to have the more beautiful experience that allows you to experience it. It is more important to start with the smaller changes for they are immediate. And you can build upon this to realize your potential in your manifestation abilities. I understand. And when you are Speaking of greater matters that are very large, that are surviving the weaponry from the others that have demolished your home, this is a perhaps more not difficult. It is not in your capabilities as the outsider to, to fix this. I see. <clears throat> yeah, it's case by case. It is correct. It is more important that you create your own ability to manifest. Once you can do this uh, for yourself, uh, it, it is really all that is needed in order to 
vibrate high enough in order to change the planetary field's vibration. I see. And, and this is where stepping into that vibration of sovereignty is important mm. for an individual to be sovereign. It is, correct. it is more important that the individual have the ability to manifest than it is to try to change the entire planet. It's, it's a, the big desk. <laughs> this is correct because it is not so. It cannot occur this way. It is your vibration that is the most important. For your vibration, as we have said, it goes and it is like a cloud. It is floating and changing the vibrations of others. Be the change you want to be, you want to see in others kind of idea. Correct. Right, right. Awesome. I, I, I have a, this is an ongoing theme. So feeling we'll, we'll, we'll revisit this more and more. Um, but it ultimately, I think what I'm hearing is just personal manifestation, these, these bigger events besides the weather, the weather we can have influences on, but as far as these other people and their situations, it's not our part to, to try to change that stuff. No, because there's also the incarnate has its own set of instructions and right. you do not know if the incarnate already had the instructions to go through these events. Yes, I understand. Right, how's the channel doing? Can we do That's a couple okay. more questions? Okay. Uh, I, I do wanted to ask a couple questions from others here. Uh, if you can please ask Ra if they have a role with the infinite soul when it manifests on earth, and if so, what is it? Well, I do not understand why. Yeah, I it, I'm, I'm a little confused too, but let, let me see if I can rephrase it. Um, perhaps, um, uh, maybe the, the I, I would assume Ra has a, a role with the earth the collective soul group of humanity uh i guess what what is that soul that soul human soul consciousness collective consciousness what is raw's role in that mm, we have the role of collective consciousness has Incarnates that are of the raw collective consciousness currently on the planetary sphere. And those that are drawn to raw or in other names or that have a connection, they are of the raw. And then we have the Ability to communicate with all those that call upon us. I see. Um, I'm going to jump into another question. Um, let's see. How does uh, working with the uh, Earth's energy, and we kind of touched on this with the uh, w talking to the weather or having intentions around the weather, um, walking barefoot or uh, connecting in nature. I'm assuming these are all practices that we can use to make these connections. During this particular time in your evolutions, the incarnate is receiving its force from the planetary sphere. Therefore, it is very important that the physical body be connected to the earth. 
for it is in this time period that all of it, we have not the word for it, just more than energy. It is the life force. Mm -hmm. It is coming from the earth. The earth is now very much awake. And it is the earth frequency that is powering this awakening that you call. So, you know, I do the, I do breath work on Wednesdays, uh, in, in, I like to do it outside and these types of techniques and grounding and connecting meditations are, are really beneficial, I assume. This is extremely beneficial. Excellent. And if you are not connecting with the earth, you are receiving your flow, your energy, your life force from the others. Oh, okay. And so connecting in earth will help us disconnect from the others' uh, cords. This is correct. It is more in a different mechanical aspect. Okay. The earth enters the body and pushes the other's frequency out. Excellent. I'll continue to do my, my earth connecting practices. Uh, a question from Jessica. Uh, the, is there anything from the Egypt or Egyptian timelines that we can bring into our heart that help us love and accept ourselves when we face internal or external opposition or resistance? If, if we have understood the essence of this question, it is perhaps not quite. In the Egyptian life force, energy was flowing from above. It was more of an atmospheric flow. And again, in this time period, it is coming from the earth. For the density that is occurring currently in its more densest form, it is an earth energy, while in the Egyptian time, the force was more of a atmospheric pressure that was creating charges that was enlightening these incarnates of the time. Well, okay. I, we have not uh, the understanding if we have responded to the question correctly. No, I think, I think that helps. So in, I, I, I think what Jessica was asking, if there's te perhaps technologies like the Ankh, the Egyptian Ankh, um, I know it has a lot of symbolism in, uh, I do not know this word for just not translating in the channel. Uh, it's many, uh, there's many de depictions of an art of it's sort of a cross, but it has a loop at the top of the cross that many people hold, uh, that, or many pictures of different Egyptian, uh, period time people had, had this device. And there's a lot of... And this was capturing the atmospheric energy. I see. So you this technology... You can continue to use this uh, arc. However, it is now needed to be ground. Oh, okay. All of that is planted in the earth will receive earth dense frequency. I see. So it has a, it would it would have a different sort of uh, use case now than before. This is correct. If this object is metallic, 
of the Earth's origin, such as the gold, the copper, it will capture the Earth frequency and there will be passed on to the human body. Excellent. There's another technology that I work with uh, called Ormus or monatomic gold that is created through an alchemical process of uh, dead, dead sea salts and turning that into a, a substance that can be consumed or I use it in my plants. Is this also uh, a, a um, technology that we can continue to use today? The we have a lot of this uh, vocabulary in the channel. However, the word salt is emanating a crystal, and crystal technology is very powerful and can capture the energy vibration. If the plants are in the earth, you have not really the need to add more for the earth is communicating with the plants. It is only for you to communicate with the earth, to speak to the earth in order to ask the earth to give the plants what you desire. It is not needed to have the crystal. For the crystal without instruction is not holding any information. Oh, I see. When I make my ormus, I do put intentions and instructions into it. Then, therefore, it is okay. I see. Excellent. Uh, and with that, um, we'll do a final question here about the human urine and and the uh, properties in, in that. Could you go into more detail about that? Um, this is the same. It carries the salt crystals, mm -hmm. which are being infused with instructions that are being given through the intelligence of the all, which are carrying the instructions. And this is also an important conversation. The crystals that are inside of the human body in the form of salt and the Taudium are infused with instructions. When the incarnate has this uh, positive vibration, it allows for instructions to be placed on these crystals. Yeah. When the body is one moment. Instructions are flowing, not continuously. They are flowing while the incarnate is sleeping mm -hmm. or experiencing the joy. When the incarnate is not experiencing anything, it's more of a sedentary state. Instructions do not get imprinted on the salts. When the incarnate is experiencing negative low vibrations, this stops the salts from receiving the instructions. Depending on the incarnate's desires at the moment, or it is always changing, no instructions are being sent to these crystals in the body. So in a sense, we're, we're walking, um, with, with every time we go to the bathroom, we're, uh, we're sort of infusing information into, into the earth. 
this is correct. Mm-hmm. And you can use this urine for multiple purposes. Okay. For example, like a dog marking its territory, can we grid the planet with our with our urine? You can. It is very possible. You can give it to your plant in oh, the okay. same way that you have done the armor. Okay. And the instructions that are on the crystals within your urine are more specific to you and your body. It has a very strong healing property. And it has great knowledge. It is not something that should be wasted. Is is this why some people, I've heard of people who drink their morning pee? And this is correct. Uh, I've heard that those people have really bad breasts. Oh, we don't know. <laughs> okay, no, that's, a, that's another topic. We'll, we'll have to get into that. Uh, interesting. Okay, well, well, you definitely left a lot of uh, great nuggets for us to uh, um, ponder and do some research we on. I have one comment. Yes. There is a misconception in the mind that the incarnate comes as a weak, frail, unknowledgeable incarnate. Hmm. This is the farthest thing from its reality. Right. The incarnate is completely self-sufficient and completely full. There is no error in the human structure or the human ability to do and be anything it desires to do and be. There is nothing that is of error. Very good words of wisdom. All right. Well, with that said, we can bring the channel back and uh, looking forward to ongoing conversations. Uh, We've got lots of questions here, but I don't want to take too much of the channel's time and appreciate everything, Rock. Thank you. That's very well. One moment. I don't know. Love. Hey there, if you like this broadcast and want to join us live each week, come over to the Interview with Ed membership portal. The links are down below. And you too can join in the conversation, asking the channel's questions directly uh, and the beans at the channel. And we have a bunch of other offerings So come on over and hang out with us. It's a great community. See you there. It was so good. (laughs) Right. It's been a minute. I'm glad we were able to catch up in this way. Oh, my God. I was actually so scared that we were never able to chat. Oh, why? Because it's been because you took a little break or? I see yeah, your tan. It's You've, been oh yeah. It's been so long that I forgot if I knew how to do it. What? <laughs> oh, so you I haven't been doing it. on your vacation, you haven't been uh, doing any channelings? No, I can't channel by myself. Oh, okay. So no, I haven't. I mean I've been meditating every day, but it's not the same thing because raw doesn't really come through when I meditate. So Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Except for except for dropping the the P question. <laughs> yes, and he always drops something before we're going to channel, which is so funny. So he's definitely always 
you know, there. <laughs> so it's like, I know. Yes, that is so interesting. Yeah, she's, how can I explain this? Every single part of our body and our everything has the ability to do everything. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Mm-hmm. Like, there is no, yeah, I don't know how to explain yeah. it. There's no mistakes. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that, that was the key takeaway is a lot of people, especially in this, in this difficult time, are feeling, you know, depressed and sad and, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm just a mistake. And, and then of course, raw was, uh, you know, I think a great reminder at the end that, that we all have value. We're all, we're all piece of the puzzle, cosmic puzzle, that there's something here and, and our bodies are much more powerful than what we have been come to know or, or told society and all that stuff. Yeah, definitely. Crazy. Is there anything that you want me to talk about before I forget it? Yeah, yeah. So I was going back to let's start with Elon Musk. Um, okay. Yeah. What? So, so this so was he interesting. He had an amazing energy that is like mind blowing. Like I don't even know how to explain to you because I, I, I've connected to a lot of people before, like even mm-hmm. people from that are dead and all kinds of people I've connected to, and I can feel their energy, and it kind of just feels like this, mm-hmm. like it's this small. His energy feels so big that it's like the sun. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It feels full and complete. I don't know exactly what he's getting. It feels like he's just getting telepathic communication. Like, you know, like how the other night Raw dropped it into my head about the pee. I think he's getting that. But like all the time. Right. Right. Yeah. I would assume if, cause if he was having dialogues like we're having, I think, yeah, no, I, I think people would way. probably be watching and, you know, whistleblowing or set, you know, or, or making fun, you know, whenever it is, you know, yeah. Would, right. Right. Yeah. He, what I mean, he's, I he, he, he's definitely been, well, the Mars thing, cause I had heard from many other people that he, he and and also previous channeling that you had done, there was mention of of Mars and I guess that consciousness, uh, or a aspect. I think it, I think what what Ra was saying was uh, it was not Mars as a totality, but a a a small yeah. collective, small collective within Ra. Or I'm sorry, within Mars. And some that, and and I don't know that it's like the actual physical planet or because you know like Ra came from Venus. Venus, he's not there anymore. He's like a collective mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. existing somewhere else. I don't exactly know where, but maybe that's the same kind of thing. That's where yeah, maybe that's, they came from Mars and right. now they're like they're just there out in space. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, more of an energy that uh consciousness yeah. uh that, that could be tapped into. That's what I was kind of alluding to, like you know, okay, the feminine energy from from Venus, the masculine from Mars, these types of yeah. um I think we're always a little confused with my questions, but that kind of energy, that mass, you know, mass. Yeah. And, and, and Ra was saying very, a lot of technological um, developments coming from that energy for human, the planet. So yeah. what, which means that to me, that translates as a masculine, you know, a very okay. you know, execution, getting things done, make technology has always been. Yeah. Uh, uh, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> or. You know, our technical devices and you know, yeah, 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 gadgets. for sure. That's a very masculine. So, so yeah, I, th- I get, I get that. I don't know why Rod didn't, but I get, I get what you're saying. Um, and so, yeah, I definitely, I got that. What else did I get? Oh, there are influences trying to infiltrate him, but they're not going to be able to. His energy mm-hmm. is too big. Mm-hmm. Even the others don't have an energy that big. Mm, that's good to know. Yeah, because he's been uh, early on. There's, you know, there's a lot of. Uh, I mean, I've been watching his career over time, and and know people who know him directly. Um, and he's uh, uh, sort of been a, a team human player, but there's been a lot of questions because the people around him 
are uh, quite questionable at times. And um, I think that's maybe what he was trying to say that, yeah, the mm-hmm. people around him, they're all trying to get him, they're all trying to darken his energy, but they're not going to be able to. Mm. I think he's like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I really don't see how they can. The energy was so big, and I'm not even allowed to touch it anymore. I touched it one time. That was awesome. But I, I, I can't even get close to it now. Yeah, Ra was saying something about like, uh, we got to, you know, we, we can't go, we can't peer into that. So no, much. no, I've been blocked. I've, I've mm. been like, you know, yeah, blocked like on the phone. Like you can call one time, but then they block you and you can never call again. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you yeah, spend, I've been blocked. You spare the Elon's energy. Yeah, yeah, I definitely, the first time I contacted him, this is the third time now, the first time I contacted him, I was able to get through on the phone line, like you say, yeah. and I was able to touch his energy. And I'm telling you, that was like, it was like a high, like a real high, wow. like, like, wow. Like I didn't want to, I didn't want it to stop. I was like, holy shit, this is so good. And then I tried it again because I got so, I loved the high so much. So I was like, yeah. try one more time. And then the second time we tried to connect and Ra was like, oh, she's been blocked. Like he didn't use those words, but that's yeah, what yeah. it was. And today I was, when you said Elon Musk, I was like, yes, let's go. <laughs> it's blocked again. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I, I've been person, I've been permanently blocked. But if anyone can, can co- connect with him and get through one time like you're in for a ride interesting yeah his energy and the pe- people you know that know him i wonder if yeah. did they feel anything because i'm sure if you stand by him maybe you'll feel something i don't know everybody that i well like the two people that i know that know him like pretty personally uh enough you've been around him um they they just say well he's just a super awesome guy you know they say he's very oh they don't uh, know about their energy yeah i don't think it's more it's more just like he's very much um driven smart and um good intentioned that kind of thing so i I haven't oh one thing that was really interesting when we talked about something about him Mm -hmm. i did get the image of other scientists around our history like i don't know if it was tesla i saw like an old man apparently he was getting the same kind of communication does that make sense yeah yeah and they were getting it from hit from that same energy from that same mars energy yeah so i have a feeling that this mars energy has been communicating with people for technology reasons for a long time like this isn't like he's not the first one. Oh, and another thing i just remembered there's more people on the planet who are getting the same information not maybe the exact same but they're getting that energy is talking to a lot of people yeah, on the planet so maybe there's other people like Elon doing. Yeah, I know some Elon folks. There you go. They they are probably too. they're probably getting their information from them. Interesting. Actually, one person I know actually said he is getting it from sort of extraterrestrial, extra dimensional beings. Maybe so it's... I, I'll I'll ask them which ones. I didn't even ask. I just should have thought about that. I don't know that what their name is. Like I don't know mm-hmm. if we want to call them Mars people or maybe it's some other collectives. I don't know the name. Maybe we can ask the name. I don't know if I don't know if Rob will tell me the name. But whatever we can find out. Yeah, yeah. And 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 then I got into the Hawaiian fires and 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 that kind of uh, energy weapon stuff and that kind of yeah things. that weather manipulation yeah what i understood from that which was really weird it just felt like a very disorganized organization mm-hmm. because it was like the scent it, he didn't really show me like a picture picture but he showed me something where it was like there's this pyramid the people on the top and this was just some group like over here doing their own like mess 
And it just felt like very disorganized. Like everyone's running around doing their own thing. And it's just a mess. Which, and, you know, is a good thing because, yeah. b- because that is not sustainable. Expo- yeah, it's not sustainable. It exposes, and that's what's happening. That's what, you know, more yeah. and more people are, you know, we're seeing uh, people and news organizations, uh, independent news organizations exposing um, these characters, so to say, the bad actors yeah. of the world. So we're getting a lot of that. Uh, yeah. coming at a at a rapid pace, um, so that's kind of I um I mean, b- you know, you say Bill Gates now, and everybody just like rolls their eyes. Like I know like b- before everybody was like, oh, Bill Gates, Bill Gates, you know, oh, he's yeah, going to save the world, and now Bill Gates, you know, I know exactly, <laughs> and it just... kind of feels like I don't know where Bill Gates stands on that pyramid on that pyramid shape, but um. I don't know where he stands. We should actually just channel him one day. I want to see what his energy is. Okay. I'm sure okay. it's dark. This um, is pretty nasty. But yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is that when he speaks, my skin crawls. So I'm yeah. sure it's not good energy. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people are, are feeling that now. Uh, yeah. the, the Mr. Rogers act is the gig is sort of up, you know. Totally. He's, so, but, um, but yeah, that's interesting. And then, and then that was nice information about how we have the power to, uh, overcome these weather manipulations. Um, so that's. And, and I totally know this firsthand because I can change the weather. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've totally. done some, we've done some, um, stuff up here in Big Bear too. So, uh, yeah. it's, it's possible. It- it's totally possible and it's actually so easy as long as you're not doing it to be selfish like oh i have a date tonight and i want the weather to be nice i mean even that i do that all the time actually i'm lying to you because i do it all the time i go on i go on vacation and i'm like no i don't want any rain no rain and i never get rain and i call on to the elements i don't know if you're supposed to i don't know but i call on to uh, to the elements Mm -hmm. and like elements I really want to have like a really nice night. Can we have like perfect sunsets and no rain and no clouds? And I always get it. So I know that I can change the weather. And I think everyone can. Like the way that I understood it from Raw is that like this has to do with that whole thing where you can change your your universe in front of you. Mm-hmm. Well, and that was sort of the, the next question about you know, the financial systems and people going through hard times. And then we got the whole analogy of the accordion. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I think, and the greater lesson, I think that Raw is trying to convey, and I'm, miss, I'm assuming we're going to go over this more. And this, if you go back to the old Raw files, this is the key theme is time's not linear. Uh, get out of your head that you have to, get, you know, go from point A to yeah. point B. And, that the and that that i guess humans are amazing manifestors so we have the the technology to to, yeah yeah. and i don't know how to wrap my brain around this because this is like really too advanced for me but we're not experiencing the same thing yeah like what i'm experiencing (laughs) is not what you're experiencing even though when we talk to each other we feel like we're experiencing the same thing, but we're not. And right. I don't understand that. I don't understand how that works. I don't. All well, I know I... is that for yourself, from mm-hmm. what I see, the way that Ra shows it to me in my brain, it's like, if I want to eat an ice cream tonight for dinner, I have to like think, okay, I want to eat an ice cream. And then I have to think, okay, well, I have to leave the house. I have to walk to the the ice cream store and I have to pick up my ice cream. And then I have to walk back home and then I have to eat it. In order for all of those things to happen, the universe in front of me has to put the road in front of me, has to put the elevator in yeah. front of me. It has to put the ice cream shop in front of me. But it doesn't necessarily have to do that. It can literally put 
you know, a down tree in front of the street so that I, my car can't make it. Or it can like, I arrive at the ice cream store and the ice cream closed because something happened. And so what happens to get to the ice cream store? I'm creating that. And that I don't understand. I don't understand how you do that, but apparently you do. And so if yeah. I'm on... If I'm on a place on the accordion, which has like no resistance, it means that the weather's great. I arrive there at the ice cream store. They have a sale on ice cream. I get my ice cream at 50% off. I come yeah. back. My ice cream is still frozen. I sit in front of a great movie and I'm eating my ice cream and all is well. Yeah. But if I'm on this like lower part of the accordion, then everything goes wrong while I get my ice cream. Right, 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 right. But well, you and me could be living in the same building right. and we both have the thought to go for the ice cream. And for some reason, I don't even know how this is possible, you'll get to the ice cream store and I won't. Right. And I think that goes back to the vibration of yeah. joy, of these, these sort of high gratitude, you know, even Ralph says gratitude, joy, love. Um, and these sort of higher vibration energies and the frequencies, and the more we can stay in that positive vibration, then we attract the positive path to our desires, right? Uh, and when we're down in the negative zones, and we still have des the same desire, can be exact same desire, but we're in the negative zone, now we're creating the resistance um, to get to that desire. So then... And then usually what tends to happen, you know, uh, is, is one resistance leads to the next resistance because then we're, we're always getting, in, instead of seeing the resistance and say, okay, well, you know, what, what do I need to reflect and look in myself that I can change this to shift my vibration so I can give myself joy so I can have the path of least resistance. Instead, I'm going straight into the resistance and then I meet resistance and I was, God dang, I bang my toe. It's like a never-ending cycle. And then, yeah, then uh, my my leg hurts because I stubbed my toe and and I'm pissed off again. And then I go out to try to get to that desired thing, and then I fall over and or what you know whatever you know uh, the tree falls down and I can't cross the road or uh, all that stuff exactly. happens. So and then so, yeah. one thing that he did show show to me was that when you he didn't show me this exact image, but I'm guessing it's the same thing is that when you get to the ice cream store or you come back home. You have to have gratitude for arriving there and coming back without any resistance. Yes. And you're like, oh, this ice cream is amazing. Thank you so much. Like, I'm, I'm so happy. Yeah. And then that vibration of happiness, of joy and whatever, it goes out. One, it moves you on the accordion to a, a higher level or whatever. Yeah. And then it also creates the next event so that the next event doesn't have any blocks <laughs> or resistance. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, so confusing. Well, I, you know, I just quickly took a quick flashback at some of the bigger moments in my life where disasters, so to say, where things went mm -hmm. wrong and tr thinking about, like I got shot at in Guatemala with my buddy, Steve, literally just before that, we were um, talking about, you know, uh, oil, oil cartels and, and, you know, the energy paradigm on the earth and how, you know, how sucky it is and negative and that stuff. And then all of a sudden, bang, 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 our back window gets shot out and bullets are flying and we're, you know, trying to escape for our lives. So I'm just like, yeah, I wonder if it was that conversation that invited me. Totally. I like you have been. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of thing. But yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's definitely a new paradigm for a new operating system to have the awareness <laughs> around that. And I think that's what we're always really trying to teach is that awareness. Like, and in, in even with saying that there's, you know, this is going to be, we're going to keep on that conversation, keep doing that in future. Glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Because yes, I think that it's really a deep understanding of it with like, real world ex examples that you can yeah. really understand the concept. I think that even just reading or 
or thinking the concept is not the same thing as really understanding it in a very practical way. And, and as Ross said, past before feeling it in the heart because that's yeah. that's where we really emanate emanate yeah and stay in that vibration uh so that's um that'll be an ongoing <laughs> the word in conversation I'm yeah sure. totally um the questions that you had asked from people mm-hmm. i don't know why and it's so weird I don't know if Ra doesn't understand the question because I don't know what the question was now. Like the, I'm trying to remember, but I can't. There was there was one. It was this was a little difficult. I think. Actually, oh, it was I, difficult. Back, I was I trying to know. understand myself. Yeah. Oh, okay, I, and, okay. Because I, I wasn't I, sure why he wasn't able to understand. I don't know if if Ra needs to connect to that person to understand the question. I, I think, don't well, think so. It's kind I of think, weird. I think. Because I didn't fully understand the question. Oh, maybe that, that was probably throwing it off the energy, um, and and that's why I was trying to um, sort of reword it and re put it in an understanding of a, a frame of that I understood it, and I re asked it about the okay, the collective and then it was okay. and then it's sort of like then Ra was like, yeah, okay. we've been incarn- we're part of the human consciousness because we've incarnated in Earth, and yeah, it's an aspect of us, and that that kind okay. of thing. Okay. Uh, and and I don't even know if I if that was the direction. So th- these will come out in discussions. In, okay, in yeah, future. no problem. I just wanted to like make sure that I I I don't understand why Bra didn't understand, but maybe that's why because we didn't understand the question. Completely. Yeah, I think but it was more just, my energy. All right, I, 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 okay, I that's quite, fine then. I've, I've just, got to under, I've got to under, I I need to dig a little deeper and add, maybe ask for clarification before I ask some of these questions. Okay, because okay. when I. When I saw the wording, I thought, oh, well, maybe this is like a secret coded thing that I don't have to understand. <laughs> that maybe yeah. you know, that that raw no. and then this person already had a connection and there she's just asking on that. And uh, so that was I was kind of Yeah. I, I don't know if I've told you this before, but mm. Ra doesn't hear words. Mm. And so what she's hearing is basically a vibration that I'm emanating. Mm. So if I don't understand the concept or I don't understand the word, I'm not emanating the vibration to him. It's like I'm doing yeah. the, um, what's that thing called during the war time when you clicked on the button? The Morse code? Morse code. It's like okay. I'm doing the Morse code. So you're asking a question. I'm Morse coding it and he's feeling the vibration. But if you're saying something to me like, some weird word that I have no idea how to translate into Morse code. He's not right. getting the Morse code. Right. He's and, like, and, what? Yeah, the same. And then if I'm not fully knowing the question myself. Yeah. How am I, how am I, yeah. So we'll work on that. Yeah, okay, I think yeah, yeah, this we'll was a good exercise. I just want to, yeah, for, and I just that. want to make then, sure that um, everyone gets their and answers. there's a couple other, their- oh, and then I asked about Ormus, which. I oh, yeah, that was cool. Don't know if you knew what Ormus was. No. Um, which was no, uh, I don't. salts. And that, but when and that, you said salts, I saw, I emanated crystals and he understood crystals. Yeah. So the, yeah, there's that Morse code translation. And then I asked about the onk. Did you not know about the onk? I don't know what an onk is, but yeah. when you, I, when you, when you did that thing, I, the, I know what, the cross. I know yeah. what that is. I just didn't right. know the word for it. Um, but with the funny thing with that is that I didn't know about this earth energy. I mean, I knew about grounding, but I didn't understand the earth energy is powering us or it's, yeah. That's what, that was quite fascinating. The difference between that Egyptian time and our time is the Egyptian time, I guess the energy was being harnessed from the atmosphere where in our time now, our power is coming from the earth. So that those those were that was quite a uh, uh, and a now big my nugget, head is tingling. Yeah, a big n- nugget t- to uh, digest. And, and I wonder, I wonder if this has anything to do with why they're poisoning our food. Well, and the atmosphere, uh, it's both. Yeah, yeah, so, right. So it's like because we're getting 
we have to dig more into this because this is mm-hmm. really interesting. What kind of information is coming from the earth? Like, I didn't really understand that because. So it's very powerful. So. Yeah. And I want to learn more about that. So if you could ask more questions yeah. or if, or if the, if people that are listening can think of more questions, because it would explain why they're working so hard to poison the herbs and poison our food and poison mm-hmm. our water. It has and to be air. related. Something has to be related somehow. Like it just, obviously, I, I would love to know more about that too. That yeah, was really I'm interesting. The, I'm going to go out energy. and ground more too because I'm not grounding on that. Yeah, on the energetic level, um, I'll ask about that. And then, and that's what, you know, then the on. And I was thinking the whole time of electroculture. Are you familiar with electroculture? I should have asked about that, but maybe we can uh, familiar get familiarized with it. Yeah. So it's taking, um, it's an it's an old you know old technology where you take copper uh, wires, you wrap them around sticks, and then you put them in the ground. And my whole backyard, I, this year we've been big into electroculture. All my plants have it. Well, it it it. it he must have saw that in your mind because when you talked about that bonk, mm-hmm. he was like, oh, you can put the, and, and he showed it to me in copper or mm-hmm. it wasn't gold because it was a little bit too rusty looking for gold. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, you can put that in the earth and have it touch the plant is mm-hmm. what he showed me. Or did yeah, he yeah. say it? Uh, uh, yeah, he said, put it, put it in the earth. Yeah. I, as opposed to just having the onk and, collecting the atmospheric he said use that technology and put it into the earth so that was getting me on the electroculture idea so go that's basically electroculture uh but using the onk at the end instead of just a spiral because we take a lot of people are using some of mine i put crystals at the end of the uh copper wire wrap them in the copper wire and doing that they have to touch the plant it, well it's in this the grow i have in my individual pots or in the grow boxes they're all in there. So. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, but I'm sure the root. Well, anyways, yeah. I don't know because the root is in the earth. I don't know. Yeah. It's confusing. Yeah. So I don't really so understand. Yet. I am seeing a difference with when I use the electroculture uh, on plants. It does seem to yeah. help, help them. Um, and then, uh, and then that got it. And then we mentioned crystals, and then that got us into the P question. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's really. <laughs> The, the, it makes the sense. whole pea thing is really crazy, but the way that he showed it to me the other day when he gave me that nugget, it was, I don't know, I was thinking about health for some reason, and I was thinking about how to heal the body, and then he was like, all the instructions are already in your body. And I was like, oh, where in my body? And he's like, they're in the salts and the crystals in your body, they until the instructions are in the crystals that's where Mm -hmm. they're going and i'm like well where are these crystals and he's like well they're coming out of your urine and that's what and then he disappeared and i'm like that's it you're just gonna leave me with that (laughs) yeah i mean so i don't can look it up there's a lot of people that do that well i don't know if i'm gonna drink my urine yeah i'm not gonna do it either (laughs) but i I know there's a lot of people who do that i know but i could see (laughs) But then it was kind of like that sense where I had this really calm, this calmness that overcame me where I was like, wow, we really do have everything we want at our fingertips. Right, right, right. Yeah. There is nothing that we can heal, fix, manifest mm-hmm. that we have to get from outside. Yes. Literally exactly. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Like your health is being manufactured inside of your body. Like yeah. you can manifest the ice cream. Like you can manifest everything. Like there isn't anything that was, yeah, we're completely self-sufficient. I just, it's very, it's really comforting to know that. And maybe that's why we are being told that now because times are difficult and people mm-hmm. do feel helpless. Yeah. And I think that maybe he's bringing this information forward so that we really grasp that we don't need anything outside. Yeah. Yeah, wow. That's, that's, uh, that's the powerful lesson of the day, of the century. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's really humbling in a way because mm-hmm. 
You do. We spend so much of our time just trying to find answers on the outside when they're like our piece to keep with the instructions on how to heal us. Like, who yeah, would have yeah. thought that? Right. Well, <clears throat> and now because I was just thinking uh, about, you know, gr- like grid, you know, using that to intentionally grid the <laughs> you'll be in market areas, right? Hit the, uh, Do it. Yeah, Do yeah. It. Start um, I've been, I've been cleaning the groundhog holes in the backyard. Now I'm thinking, man, I'm probably giving them all kinds of good mojo. <laughs> Like, you are. I'm trying to, you are. I have to intensify it and say, okay, anti groundhog pee and maybe right. infuse that with that energy and then go pee in the groundhog hole. Totally. It's, it's all about the totally. intention. It is all about but the intention. Usually, while I'm peeing in the groundhog hole, I'm usually pretty pissed off at the groundhog. So it's probably, are they still there? Uh, they come, yeah, they're impossible to get rid of. But really, uh, it does help uh, having, you know, cats and, Human pee in the holes does it keeps it keeps the uh, keeps the them locks away. It keeps them destroying my neighbors' tumors actually. Cause they, oh, now they're going. Oh my around. god! But uh, but they still pop in. Yeah, we got wow. them pretty bad up here. But but anyways, thank you, thank you for. Oh no, it? that was so good. Yeah. I I yeah. I love feeling raw inside of my body. So I'm happy to do it anytime. All right. Well, uh, we'll get back into our, our routine that we had going. Okay. Uh, Sounds good. Or so, and I, I'm sure the members again are, are loving this and, and just thanks for your offering and doing this. This is what oh, I'm Oh, no, no. Yeah. I'm, my body was, I, and the crazy thing is I think that everyone can channel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to channel myself lately. I've been yeah, doing right? the deaf work stuff. It's been, it's been, yeah. it, it's fun to, I don't know the mechanisms, how to get there. Like I, I'm envious of, of you, how you no, can just kind of- No, I'm going to tell you, the, it's so easy. It's ridiculous how easy right. it is. One, you have to want it, which is mm-hmm. what I had done. I, had, I, wanted, I wanted a higher being to speak through me, which was a mistake. I should have said speak to me because <laughs> speaking through me means that I can't communicate with that being. But the, it, for me, it was really easy- All you have to do is breathe. Yeah, through the breath work. Mm -hmm. And if you can get to a point when you're breathing where something takes over your breathing, have Mm -hmm. you ever had that happen? That's kind of what's going on. Yeah, I'm doing my uh, classes. It's kind of like uh, I'm kind of not aware of my breath. I'm very aware in the beginning. You're channeling. You're channeling. And then then I I lose time. I lose, You're channeling. Uh, yeah. That's channeling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so at that point, if someone was to come in and ask questions, mm-hmm. you would be channeling. Okay. Right, right. That Actually, is channeling. The last time we were by the lake, there was a, a, a gentleman who said, because we were kind of talking about it. He's like, oh, well, I'll, I'll have to prepare questions next time. I said, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Why not? Do it. I, You're channeling. Okay. Just find. And, and the, the, the thing is, is that, um, when I first started to channel, or like before, I'm sorry, I was always calling on to Archangel Michael, mm-hmm. which was, I didn't know that Archangel Michael and Ra were the same person. I was always calling on to Archangel Michael. That was like my go-to. It wasn't like Jesus or anyone else. It was Archangel Michael. Mm-hmm. And I channeled, and that's what came through. I mean, I was shocked the first time I heard Ra, but then... But then after, after a few channeling sessions, then it came clear that it was Archangel Michael that I had been calling on for years. Mm-hmm. But you don't have to, you just have to call on to whoever you, 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 you feel connected to. But I would honestly say, speak to me or speak to me telepathically so mm-hmm. that at least you can have a two-way conversation. Right. The only problem with that and I don't know about everyone because I can only speak for myself, is that um, I can communicate with other beings like the Arcturians, the Altians, and a bunch of other beings. But it's very, like, I can't tell if it's my mind or me. I can't right. feel right. a very right. big distinction between them. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But when I'm channeling raw, I'm in a dream. I'm not there. So it's really different. And that's 
I don't know. And I don't know if you could get that way by meditating. I'm not really sure. Yeah, like, I, I don't I, know. I, I haven't figured saying. it out. Yeah, I'm still, it's, it's playing around with it, but I definitely, uh, there's moments now where it's come in stronger and, and then I'm gone. Like I, I literally lose track of, like I'm speaking out loud during, doing this breath work, guiding the breath work. And then I kind of don't even know what I'm saying. Like I come back, I'm like, am I still talking? Where, where did I go? Wait, wait, what number are we on? That you okay. need to find out who's speaking through you. Yeah, I know. That's that's the uh, that's the I'm I'm asking like in waking life. I'm like, okay, guys, who's who's this? Go. Well, maybe I, we can ask Ra. I don't know if oh, Ra can. Uh, that's a tell good idea. You. Uh, yeah, and if you can, when we're channeling, you try to get back to that place in a way, just like connect with that energy somehow. Right, right. And then tell mm -hmm. Ra to connect to that energy and he'll tell you who it is. Oh, fun. All right, cool. I mean, I don't know that he'll tell right. you like the actual name per se, like if it's some right, weird right. thing or something that I don't even understand. But like, sure. he'll, he'll tell you at least, I mean, who knows? Like we don't know. Like, maybe it will come out. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I never know anything. So that's, that, that, that's what I know is. is that I know nothing. Right. <laughs> always. <laughs> always. 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 That's the best place to be. I know. Well, super, super exciting. And yeah, I'm glad. Uh, again, thank you for, for making this available. Oh, no, and, you're welcome. And uh, sharing your thank channeling, you. even your channeling advice. I think there's many on the, in the membership who we're doing open night channeling on Friday. So um, open mic channeling. So it's. Oh, it's, yeah, I, yeah. I think these, these uh, discussions and these channelings are inspiration for everybody. So thank you. Thank you. Well, Oh, no, I'm, I'm really, I'm happy to be of service and anytime. Awesome. All right. Cool. Well, we'll, uh, right. we'll, we'll reach out again in a couple of weeks. Perfect. Sounds good. Right. Have a good day. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you like this interview. We actually do this every week on my membership portal page. And you can access it through interviewwithed.org or uh, click on the link uh, somewhere in here. I'll put a link and uh, come over and join us. You too can ask questions. Every week we have new special guests and you get to ask questions directly to the channelers and to the beings that they channel. So see you in the portal.